What's up guys, it's Asia and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I create content that helps you look good, smell good, and follow Jesus. Today's video is a follow Jesus video and I'm super excited because it's in collaboration with Tulu Talks Faith. We are sharing three holy habits to prioritize God in 2024. So make sure that after you watch this video, you head over to her channel. She creates faith-based videos to encourage you as you fight the good fight of faith daily. I really love her channel. Channel, and I believe you would too. So be sure to head to the description box for links to her socials and this video. So my first holy habit that I'm taking into 2024 is sticking to my routines. God has really been leading me throughout this entire year and teaching me how to create systems or routines that I can do for my tasks that are reoccurring or just large tasks that come quarterly or annually or in a blue moon. Having a system or having a routine makes it so much more feasible for me to do the things that I need to do. It keeps my mental load low and thus makes it really easy for me to love people better <laughs> because whenever I'm overwhelmed and stressed, I can be mean. So having routines and having things set in place for success has been a ultimate game changer for me. The biggest shift in me creating methods for tackling my responsibilities and needs is that I was able to create space to then take care of myself. That gives me space to then have more freedom to think or to do things with my family. I truly prioritize quality time with my girls and in having a system that helps me to do dinner efficiently, it honestly created more time at the end of the day for my family just to spend quality time together. I have four main types of systems. This includes home management, business systems, family needs, and self-care. If any of these are interesting to you and you would like more details to know how I came up with my system and all the things, let me know in the comment box and I will be more than happy to record it for you guys. Prep or dividing the larger things up into smaller, more manageable tasks has been the biggest shift for me. Also, not beating myself up. In this process of sticking to my routines, there are gonna be days where I fall short, you know, where I might not make up my bed at the designated time or where I might not be able to have the quiet time at the exact time that I wanted to and I have to kind of push it into the end of the day. Whatever the case may be, I treat each day like a new day, like a fresh start, and I start my system over again. That's the beauty of this idea of sticking to your routines is that even if you have an off day, you have a new day tomorrow to start that routine over again. And so that's something that I'm definitely taking into the new year. The second holy habit that I'm taking into the new year is Holy Spirit sensitivity. I really have been spending quality time with God and I've been taking time to read my Bible and just get to know God more intimately. And with that intimacy, of course, comes the Holy Spirit unctioning you, bringing up scripture, giving you motivation to do certain things, and I want to make sure that I'm sensitive to that. So when a person's name pops in my mind, I pray for them on the spot. I don't even want to play any games with it like, oh, I'll pray about it later. Like, no, I'm going to do it right now. When I feel ushered or called to do something like it might be the smallest of things. Like for an example, when I was going to Atlanta for Thanksgiving, I was packing up my bag and I felt the Holy Spirit leading me to take out this pink jumpsuit that I had in there. And I just did it. I took it out, not really thinking much about it. But then when I got to TSA and it was time for me to, well actually it was at the Delta checkout and it was time for me to check in my bag, literally I hit the weight on the dot. If I had anything else in there, I would've went over and my bag would've cost $100. That's something so small, but it is being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and being willing to listen. That goes for all parts of my day, just being sensitive to the Holy Spirit and being open and willing to be used by God in whatever ways he sees fit. The third holy habit that I'm bringing into the new year is renouncing self-sufficiency. One of my favorite scriptures from this year are found in Matthew, which says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of God. And it really is just a beatitude. It is a Christian value that we should all hold, which is that we can't do anything outside of God. Even our talents, our gifts, our abilities, like we should be very dependent on God. We should have a right view of ourselves and a right view of God. And that is literally where I want to be 
humble before him, understanding and knowing that it is only through his spirit that I can live a holy and a righteous life. This requires inviting God into all moments of my day, no matter how big or small, when I'm talking on the phone, asking God, is there something you would have me to say? Or as I'm going about my day and I'm creating content or I'm doing my systems and my routines, just praying, just asking God for strength and allowing him to lead me and give me new ideas and new strategies and new ways of accomplishing the responsibilities that I have before me. This also includes praying and asking God for guidance when speaking with my kids, you know, if they do something <laughs> and it, it's time for a consequence, being willing to pray and ask God for help in that conversation, just inviting him into all aspects when I'm having difficulties or even in moments where I don't know what decision to make or I think that I do. Just asking the Holy Spirit for help, asking God to give me all that I need is something that I'm not gonna stop doing. Another big part of renouncing the self-sufficiency is seeking God daily, which of course is a system, it is a routine, but it also is a need and like knowing that whenever I face anything new like anxiety or worry or a surprise that I wasn't intending or desiring to have, I can pray on the spot. I can really take Philippians 4 and pray with thanksgiving, letting my request be made known unto God and allow his peace to guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. That is something that I really want to be disciplined in doing, just keeping a right mind and knowing that I need God always. And more than that, in the moments of need, being willing to humble myself and pray in that moment. And also in seeking God daily, I don't overcomplicate things. Sometimes I just listen to the Bible and that has been one of the most easy ways to incorporate just opportunity and space to hear from God, just to allow the word of God to fill the atmosphere. And sometimes you can catch glimpses of really cool words and revelations just in your everyday tasks. I also throw on podcasts that I love or shows that I really love that are God glorifying like Better Together. That is one of my favorite ones. So while I'm filming a hair tutorial or while I'm editing or while I'm doing some of my tasks that don't really require as much of my thinking, I will play one of those episodes or listen to the Bible. So worship music is in there too, but you know. <laughs> just ideas. I also have weekly business meetings with God because I really want to be dependent on him when it comes to my business and dependent on him in all aspects of my life. I don't want to ever feel like I have something on lock all by myself, so I make sure to do that once a week. So now that you know my three holy habits going into the new year, you know this is a family. You have got to talk back. So head to that comment section and let me know what holy habits you'll be taking into 2024. And make sure that you head over to Tulu Talks Faith channel so that way you can see her three holy habits that she's taking into the new year to prioritize God. Make sure you subscribe for more content that helps you look good, smell good, and follow Jesus. And I'll catch you loves in my next video. Bye guys.